Happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about nutrition and food and feeling good and yoga and sometimes bugs. But if you like any of those things, go down below and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel because that really supports me and I upload new videos every Monday. Today's video is all about insect protein. And when you hear insect protein, you might be like, Daria, ew. Or maybe you don't think it's that weird or gross because maybe you've been somewhere where people eat insects and it's not that weird or gross. But however you feel about it, make sure that you stay tuned till the end of this video because we are going to be taste testing some Cricut protein bars for the very first time. And we will definitely give you our honest first impressions and review. So I wanted to do this video after I saw Robert Downey Jr. interviewed on Colbert a couple of weeks ago and he was talking about insect protein. And I've like heard of this before, like insect protein as the food of the future and things like that, but I was always just kind of like, ew. But I got curious and I did some research. What I learned in a nutshell is that insects are part of a multifaceted approach to solving global land problems like water supply, energy, and land deficits. And the thing is, insects are a viable food group that have been consumed by humans throughout history and in many different regions of the world. Entomophagy, or the practice of eating insects, especially by humans, has nutritional, environmental, and economic value in the effort to achieve global food security. Because insects are nutritious, they don't require a lot of space or resources, and they have a low environmental impact. Iron Man saving the world again by eating Ant-Man. <laughs> there are approximately 2,000 different species of edible insects that include beetles, ants, crickets, grasshoppers, locusts, mealworms, and many, many more. Insect protein is an appealing option, not just for human consumption, but also for animal feed and fish feed. There's even companies that make insect-based foods for pets, like your dogs and your cats. Okay, so all of that is great, but Daria, what about the nutrition? What? How nutritious could insects possibly be? The nutrient content of insects varies depending on a lot of factors, but the average protein content of insects ranges from between 35% to 60%, and that's high. So that means that some insects contain even more protein than some plant-based protein sources, and some even contain more protein than meat or eggs, which is great. The biggest hurdle that the insect protein industry faces in Western culture is the ew factor, which believe me, I totally get it. I definitely am still like kind of trying to get wrap my brain around this idea of eating bugs. But all of this evidence is really compelling and does make me want to, you know, invest in this. So companies that are making insect protein products are trying to get over combat that ew factor by making them seem more palatable. But it's also really, I think, about the mindset shift, you know? I decided for the purposes of this video and just for like dipping my toe into the insect pool uh, to try a company called Exo Protein Bars. All right, so these are gluten and dairy free. It says why crickets, less land, less water, less feed. We love that. And the macros for one bar is 180 calories, nine fat, 20 carbs, and 14 protein. Pretty good. John is not super convinced about the eating bugs yet. Crickets don't have shoes on, you know, so you, they're just walking around in fill. Chickens don't have shoes on either. I'm not eating a chicken's foot. That's true. Some people do though. I'm apprehensive, I have the ew factor, and let's turn that ew into... Into... <laughs> coo. Yeah, ew to coo. <laughs> uh, so, this is what it looks like. We can't see any crickets, which is great. No antennas. No antennas hanging out, <laughs> or legs. <laughs> Ready. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes great. It does just taste like a protein bar. Tastes like a protein bar. Really very good. Yeah. You want more? Yeah. The closest thing to a perfect protein source, cricket powder has more protein than beef, wow. more iron than spinach. Wow. And is very high in biotin, B12, Oh and my zinc. god. 
But yeah, they're really nutritious. So many people, I see wispy hair, I see wispy nails all over the place, <laughs> and I'm thinking that person needs more biotin. Oh, yeah. yeah. You want strong hair. You want strong hair. I'm gonna keep eating this, is that okay? Keep eating that, you can finish that one, but yeah. I wanna finish reading this. Oh no, I, I, It says, we mix our mild tasting- I interrupted. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> We mix our mild tasting cricket powder with wholesome ingredients like almonds, egg whites, and peas to create the most delicious, nutritious, sustainable bars ever. And I think that's great. Big fan. Do you want to try any other flavors? Yeah. You do? You try at least each of the flavors. Okay. At least a bite. Peanut butter chocolate chip. What do you think? I'm finishing off this last one. I think I can taste the cricket in this one. <laughs> I'm kidding. But they are, um, mm. it's a little like earthier, this peanut butter one. I like the cookie dough one, but that was to be expected because we all know that I love cookie dough. Mm -hmm. I would totally eat this. I think this is actually like, for a protein bar, you don't get that like chalky, gross protein flavor at all. It doesn't have that artificial sweetness that you get from some of them. Mm. Like, um, have you read Quest Protein Bar? Yeah. Yeah, you don't get that, which I like. I would totally buy these again, honestly. All right, chocolate fudge mm, brownie. Great nose. <laughs> great first impression. As soon as it hit my tongue. It's a little salty, this one. Mm-hmm. It tastes like, a, I would call this flavor salted caramel brownie. Almost like a mocha. Mm-hmm. I really like them. I really do. Yeah, they're fine. They're I think totally they're normal. very good. Thanks it, for joining me on today's episode. Yeah, it really is a jaw workout. <laughs> I'm going to link below to all of the research that I did, the articles that I read to learn about this. And I'll also link to the EXO protein bars if you want to try them yourselves. But I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope it was fun and informative and maybe inspired you to eat a bug. <laughs> but if you like this video, go down below, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel because that really supports me, like I said before, and that's all we got. I'll see you next time. Bye.